said we had a relationship? Oh, it was reported. <laughs> better place, you know, because before it was like <laughs> Get ready to step back in time and experience the full timeline of Nellie and Ashanti's captivating romance and take a look at where these lovebirds call home. The early 2000s music power couple first fell head over heels in 2003 and nearly 20 years after meeting, they're giving love another chance. It's wild, for like a decade they broke up and barely spoke, but now they're at it again. Plus, the baby on the way is cementing Nelly as a proud father. First, let's rewind the clock back to the early 2000s. Back in 2003, fans all speculated Nelly and Ashanti were getting hot and heavy, even though the fiercely private pair always dodged confirming rumors. What we do know is Nelly asked for Ashanti's autograph at the Grammy Awards press conference that year, even though she thought he was being sarcastic. Turns out Nelly was crushing hard on Ashanti. At that time, both entertainers were totally dominating music. Foolish made Ashanti an instant R&B sensation, while Nelly's country grammar album went on to sell over 10 million copies. Safe to say their chemistry was fire from the start. Their chemistry was so explosive that Ashanti spent years dropping hints about a future wedding and babies. But Nelly, he seemed allergic to public commitment. By 2010, Nelly awkwardly referred to their relationship as just friends enjoying each other's company when he was asked about tying the knot. Nelly refused to publicly claim Ashanti as his girl, sidestepping marriage and baby convos for years till they hit the rocks. Ashanti later said she felt betrayed during their relationship and they split in 2013. Both became booed up with new people, but 2021 unexpectedly brought a hint at a reunion. After close to six years no contact, Ashanti and Nelly reunited on stage for a nostalgic performance that had Ashanti feeling some type of way. She admitted, we're in a better place. Now in that better place, well, it turned back to love. Nelly finally recently confirmed their revived relationship, explaining that it surprised both of them. Since taking things Instagram official, the sweet PDA between these lovesick musicians hasn't quit. Nelly fawned over beautiful Ashanti on her recent birthday, while she threw him an epic Impala themed bash for his. With their touchy feely stage antics lately, it's clear that Ashanti and Nelly fast forwarded from casual dating back to full fledged couple. And, oh Oh my gosh, was Nelly manifesting or what? Because reports just revealed Ashanti is pregnant with their first child and Nelly's fifth child. It started when Ashanti and Nelly got flirty during the black and white event, both suggestively rubbing her belly and laughing. Social media went nuts, wondering if it was an intentional hint. Then came reports from insiders formally announcing Nelly and Ashanti are welcoming their first baby together. When a fan commented Nelly should get Ashanti pregnant immediately, he responded all already on it, and Ashanti has expressed for years her dream of motherhood and a family life she put on hold for her career. After nearly 20 years of history, Ashanti is finally getting that ring and baby. Praying Nelly sticks it out this time. Now in her 40s, looks like Ashanti is finally getting the future she envisioned with Nelly. Though he has two biological kids and two others he raised with his late sister, he seems pumped to parent another little one with his revived ride or die. Now that Ashanti's unloaded her nearly 6,000 square foot former luxury mansion in New York, she will have no shortage of classy properties to choose from where she can put her feet up and raise her impending little one with Nelly. Let's look at pictures of her old Westbury Palace, situated privately at the end of a cul-de-sac. Ashanti sold this place for a tiny profit at $1.95 million. With six plush bedrooms, this regal brick colonial is fit for R&B royalty. It flaunts high ceilings, a sweeping staircase under a crystal chandelier, expansive marble fireplaces, and floor-to-ceiling windows letting sunlight flood in. No expense was spared here decking out the interiors with luxe materials from hardwood floors imported from Italy, counters clad in rare limestone. The professional chef's kitchen boasts a breakfast nook and top of the line appliances, perfect for Ashanti to pamper her growing family. Dining rooms also spacious and ready for dinner parties anytime. This spacious living room 
living room has a fireplace and plenty more room for seating as well as a French door that leads out to a patio area. Well there you have it folks, all the tea about Ashanti and Nelly. Let the games begin as we watch their revived romance continue to heat up. Before we wrap up this video, answer this question for me. Do you think Ashanti and Nelly are in it for the long haul now that a baby's coming? Let me know who you want to reunite. Let me know what you think of this reunion and don't forget to like, subscribe and follow me on Instagram to chat. I'm Carrie the Vampire Slayer and if you want to watch another celebrity house tour, stay tuned for this look at the homes of Mariah Carey. Bye! While Mariah Carey has long owned a glamorous penthouse in Manhattan and rented a mega mansion in Bedford, New York during the pandemic, word is that she's bought herself some new real estate. Located in Atlanta, Georgia, Mariah's latest acquisition is a southern colonial style mansion spanning 13,000 square feet of space that once was leased by Dwayne The Rock Johnson. With all of its luxury features including a massive white marble kitchen, movie theater and much more, it's fit for a queen like Mimi. In these videos we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Mariah Carey is a singer, songwriter, a record producer and actress who is best known for her five octave vocal range, unique singing style, and signature use of the whistle register. Not to mention, she ranks as the best selling female artist of all time with over 200 million albums sold. Her net worth is currently pegged at an estimated $320 million, a fortune which allows her to live in some exceptionally stunning pads, whether they're purchased or rented. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. In this one, looking at Mariah Carey's new mansion and more. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. And now let's get into this video. In May 2022, it was reported that Mariah had been spending Easter at her newly purchased home in Atlanta, Georgia. Word is that the songstress purchased the home for $5.65 million in an off-market deal in late 2021, and it has some other celebrity history. It was leased by Dwayne The Rock Johnson a couple of years back. Not to mention during his stay, he single-handedly ripped the mansion's massive raw iron driveway gates right off their brick pillars after the power went out, and he was trapped on the property while cast and crew waited for him on set. Anyways, the Southern Colonial Style Mansion is located in the posh and exclusive neighborhood of Sandy Springs in Atlanta, situated on 4.2 acres of land with rolling lawns and trees for privacy. It also appears those front gates have been put back in place. Past the hulking gates, the grand property is fronted by an impressive driveway, stairs, and stately pillars before you walk in the door. Interiors offer over 12,500 square feet of space along with 9 bedrooms, 8 full baths and 5 half baths. As you might expect, Mariah didn't move in without making some touches of her own and sprinkling her signature glitter about. She got rid of a ton of the over-the-top traditional wallpaper for a fresher look and added a pink and cream rug and glitzy pink chandelier in the double height entryway. Not to mention Mimi decked her master suite out with a tufted velvet headboard. Despite the home being built in 1992, photos show that it's been transformed into a more contemporary space with a lot of bright white walls, including in the main living room and the kitchen. The spacious living area offers high white ceilings, hardwood flooring, a fireplace, and a mounted TV, along with sets of French doors out to the mansion's grounds. The massive kitchen is another highlight of Mariah's mansion, with its white marble theme including a massive marble center island, offering up bar-style seats for about 10 guests. Here, there's also top-of-the-line appliances and a couple of prep areas. Other features in her Sandy Springs mansion include a premium home movie theater and mirror wall gym. Aside from her velvet headboard, Mimi's master suite also boasts a separate sitting area, fireplace, and French doors while the attached bathroom is spacious enough to include a vanity area, separate shower, and tub. Outside on the grounds, you'll find a swimming pool and pool house set in a private area amongst the trees as well as a roomy guest apartment with fireplace and elsewhere a children's playground. The grassy and rolling lawns in her property also have mature trees and greenery bordering all of it for extra seclusion. Of course, when Mariah is craving the hustle and bustle of the city, she can head over to her longtime Manhattan penthouse. She acquired this New York City property in 2000 for an unrecorded amount and it was done up to the nines 
Games by decorator Mario Buada before it was featured in Architectural Digest. Mariah purchased her lavish penthouse triplex in the Franklin Tower, a 17-story condo redevelopment that used to be a bank back in the 30s. Mariah lives in the famed Tribeca neighborhood and apparently the main penthouse alone cost her $5.5 million. Then she went on to purchase the unit just below to combine them. While we don't know the exact amounts, it likely cost her about $10 million, not including the renovations. And let's not forget, she bought these years ago. Mariah's mansion sized penthouse boasts nearly 13,000 square feet of space, four beds, and 4.5 baths right in the heart of Manhattan. When the place was custom, in design, there were influences of Art Deco, which the building's architecture also reflected. There are bronze limestone floors throughout and an opulent chandelier in the entryway, while the living room doors are decked out in silver leaf. Back in the day, Mariah showed off her apartment for MTV Cribs, but she's definitely freshened things up since then. We also know that the singer loves her kitchen, as she likes to entertain and cook. When she's not cooking up her signature pasta sauce, Mimi can retreat to her master suite, which has stunning city views and one of the most amazing closets ever. Her massive custom walk-in closet has room for any shoe, special outfit or bag that you could imagine, and Mariah loves to put it all on display. Other features of Mariah's penthouse include a whole movie theater with an aquarium on one of the walls and an under the sea vibe, as well as a spacious rooftop terrace that would have any New Yorker jealous. There's an entire seating area outside, as well as a hot tub overlooking city lights. Even when Mariah isn't purchasing homes, she even rents the most glamorous places. Take for instance, during the pandemic when she rented out a crib for herself, her kids and her staff, located just about an hour outside of Manhattan in Bedford, New York. Located in an upscale gated enclave called Bedford Corners, this mansion last sold in 2021 for $4.8 million to a former Wall Street executive who spent a fortune turning the mansion into a high-tech heaven for the uber wealthy. So we know the price tag to rent it would have been substantial. The home sat on over five acres of landscaped grounds with interior boasting 10,500 square feet, six bedrooms, seven baths, four powder rooms, and an elevator. Built in 2006, the stone-accented manor was decked out recently with all the state-of-the-art technology you could imagine, including a home automation system and a security system with over 20 cameras and a biometric keyless entry. Some of the grand living spaces here included the entryway with curving staircase, formal dining room and living room with shiny black marble fireplace and nook of windows. There was also a wood paneled library with light up bookcases and fireplace with carved lion heads, as well as a large sunny family room and gourmet kitchen. An extra basement level boasted a games room, media lounge with 900 gallon saltwater fish tank, light filled home gym, and of course a theater with a wet bar. Aside from the glamorous and epic bedrooms, especially the master suite, the impressive features continued outside. There were stone terraces, an outdoor shower, fire pit, sports court, gardens, and much more. No doubt though, the main attraction back here was the one-of-a-kind pool. The 90-foot-long violin-shaped swimming pool cost a reported $1 million to build, containing 50,000 gallons of water and covered in about half a million glass tiles with light-up fiber optic strands. The attached spa is part of the violin as the chin rests, and the bow was made up of two koi ponds. Safe to say Mimi and her crew enjoyed their time living here. Well, now we've checked out the homes of Mariah Carey, including her latest real estate purchase, her new home in Sandy Springs, Georgia. After seeing a few of her homes, past and present, which was your favorite? Be sure to let me know down in the comments. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye.